So then, three games to go. Um, just don't want to get sacked. Let's hope this is longer than seven parts, this series. Let's find out. Uh, welcome to another episode of Palmer Drama. So then here we are, back again, and that on the screen <laughs> is what we're going to play. Uh, I, I feel like we're getting overrun in midfield, and it's not actually our defence which is the major issue. It's the fact we're not controlling the middle, we're just giving space up so easily, it's daft. Um, so I've taken away full backs or wing backs, I've got three at the back with a ball in midfielder, I've got a bit sort of a diamond going on with two wide players, um, I've pulled them both back a little bit, obviously not natural but we've got injuries all over the shop. Um, I'm I'm hoping that this will go well. If it doesn't go well, we like relegation's not really. Excuse me. If it does go well, then um, we won't get relegated or anything. I don't think we can be relegated. I think if we lost all three, then we might be. Uh, we play well. Two of our games. Let's put it this way: are against rivals, uh, Genoa and Shivo. Shivo, Shivo, isn't it? Shivo. Yeah. Um, they're our opposition, and they're both down there with me. So if we beat them both, I mean, we can... 14th looks pretty likely at this point. 14th, maybe even 15th. Um, 13th looks like a stretch, and 12th's impossible. So I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, we'll crack on with the first game, though. Tactically, I'm not sure if this is going to be successful. I'm trying things out. We've got three games to go till the end of the year. I might as well try something else, so we'll give it a go. Uh, anyway, into the first game, then. Genoa are the opposition. Let's crack on. So... They're quite conventional, it's fair to say. We're not so conventional. But does that matter? Should that matter? No. No, it shouldn't. Uh, we're ingenious tactical solutions. That's what. We're, that's who we're sponsored by. Ingenious tactical solutions. If you can... I'll just... I'm going to make this obvious. If you can hear the drill outside, it's not me doing it. It's not planned. It wasn't like, oh, I'm doing a video. Do you mind drilling during it? Yeah, they're going for it. Uh, anyway, we'll crack on. We need a win. So the first bit of action uh, is an injury to one of our players. Nostrina, of all the players to get injured, it's one that we actually quite like to use. And, I, and I'm not that... I've got to be honest, we're playing quite a few central midfielders, and I'm not that familiar with the rest of them. Um, right, I'm going to get... I'm going to do something... I'm going to do something crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking outside of the box here, people. Look at this. It's a change of tack. It's like Napoli of the 2012 days. I'm excited. I love that. I had a system. I was like, this is what we're going with. This is this is what's going to be the system to fix it. Oh, hold on. Anyway, I say I'm going to create a system. Seconds later, like less than less than 30 seconds later, I've already changed the formation completely. Welcome to Dr. Benji FM, everyone. So just before half time, slide challenge has come in. Rincon, he's gone. They're down to 10. Iago Felt coming on, uh, former Spurs player. I've got it up here. I just know these things. Half time. Um, it's, it's been quiet. They're just, they're just gunning for me here. That's, like, that is enough. I said, like, you know, I changed the tactic and I thought the first one would start off. I'd only played it once and it was okay. We got a draw. Oh, that was a good effort. Um, I actually quite like what we've changed to. I don't know if it's going to be a formation for the future because I'm worried that our midfield will become a little bit weak. Um, and obviously, this summer is going to be so pivotal. I'll talk about that sort of during the rest of the games. But, oh, <gasps> free kick. Yes, boy. Lodi with the finish. Grabs himself a goal. Hashtag scenes. Love the old job. We've scored a goal. Not from open play, though. We never do that. They've got. They've had a corner. It's been knocked back out. And it's been knocked back in. And it's been knocked back out. So it's another corner. Uh, part, volume 2 of the corner show that I'm watching. We don't have, we've not sent anyone forward, which is unusual, because we usually have at least one forward. Considering they've got ten men, you'd think we'd be putting a bit more pedal to the metal, wouldn't you? But we're not. We're st That's okay. Let's go attacking. Let, let's try and break something down a bit. Let's try and run at them. Lodi free kick again. Oh, rebounds? Hey, Again, not really from open play. Technically from open, pl open play, but I mean, it's come from a free kick. So I think if the, when the ball's dead, we're alive. <laughs> what a weird phrase. Anyway, we're back again. I might as well stay with this. Um, Varela, who's got a knock, but I've kept him out there because he's of his pace. But for it, that's an open play goal. And it's from Belfoldil. I've, I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. We're 3-0 up away from home. This hasn't happened for ages. Um, 
maybe I, t- I do. I, I read some of the comments uh, and I got a few tweets about like formations and tactics. That goes out to you boys, the people that came up with like suggestions. I've taken a few on board. If you made the suggestion and you think, oh, he's followed that a little bit, you're probably right. I have done. Anyway, on to the next one. Uh, that secures our safety in Serie A, which is nice. Ten, ten games won. That's all right, sort of. Out of all the things that could have happened during the in between games, just this season, this is the best thing that could have happened. I'm genuinely surprised and very happy that they've pr- proposed new contract talks. I will accept your offer. I'm not even going to look at it. I'll sign the, on the dotted line. Thank you very much. Two more years. Palmer have offered Benji a new contract. I can't bloody believe it. What an error on their part. But it it does mean, hopefully, um, <laughs> we cut back to this bit when I've been sacked in two games' time, um, that we will stay in the job. So the series continues. Good. Obje- objective two, complete. Right then, another game, and we're going to start how we finished the last one. Uh, Noshirino's coming in, though, obviously he was out of injury, uh, which forced the change. So that's the only real issue. But Lodi, a Lodi Noshirino like, duo in the middle is pretty good against uh, Kievo, who aren't anything special. I fancy our chances. Um, Christian Rodriguez back in the side at left wing. I'm hoping these boys, like, they're not defensively very good, um, but as I say, pace, stamina, endurance, like they'll get up and down for me, and I think that's what's important, uh, despite the fact they've both been out injured in recent weeks. I fancy, I don't know, I just, after the last game, and a positive result, I feel a lot better about this one. Um, we're keeping the instructions the same, we're still on counter. Hopefully the red card didn't have too much impact on the result, because then it kind of blurs the lines of whether we've played well or not. Um, but regardless, going into this, they're playing 4-4-2, which is, you know, Roy Hodgson-esque, so what, we stand a great chance is what I'm getting at. We'll, we'll keep an eye on the formation. I want to see how the, the two behind the striker work again uh, and make sure we stay strong in the middle. As I say all this, they've come forward with a few efforts on goal and that's a goal. So 1 minute 30 in, I'm changing nothing because it's too early to, to concede that this has not worked. So we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, free kick. Lodi. He is um, he's unstoppable at the moment. It's The highlight surprised me. I was watching the game casually and all of a sudden dead ball situation again not not an open play goal doesn't matter we are set piece specialists i'm just sat here mid game thinking what we've scored another free kick i was just pondering the fact they'd offered me a new contract and francesco lodi has scored a second oh my word set piece specialist he is he's a man of my heart Right, I'm no, I'm no longer pondering as we get to half time i'm con- i'm fully focused on the game in hand um I'm going to tell them they did well. I got some advice as well to say, look, if they're not playing well at half time, you should you should bollock them. And I'm just I'm I'm a lover, not a fighter. So you know, it's, it wasn't something I was keen on doing. Turns out we've been leading both times in these games. Uh, we have got a tougher game coming up, so, so that's that'll be a problem against Roma. But I mean, so far so good. <laughs> Doctor Ben GFM, he's a lover, not a fighter. If someone wants to tweet me that in like a, I don't know, in the clouds maybe. I don't know what I'm on about. 10 minutes to go and they're in on goal and he's slotted home and we have fallen asleep at the back and we've let him in. Uh, Paloshi, I think that's probably how you pronounce his name, with the goal. They're fighting for survival. They are genuinely fighting for survival. So that is a huge goal in the context of their season. I, again, haven't made changes. There's seven days between these games. I know I should probably make some sort of tactical mystery go on. But, I mean, I don't like to change a winning team. If you've watched any series I've done, if we're winning the game, I don't want to jinx it. And now, look, now look what's happened. We've all right. We're potentially going to score on a counter attack. So let's just let's watch and see. <gasps> That's is that a shot or a through ball or it's not highlight worthy. I'll say that much. Something best happened here. The keepers holding on to it. They they are settling for a draw. And if they've gone defensive, we know that that'll be game over. As he as he launches it long, Lodi heads it down. Like, let's see. This is the issue. We need these two boys to get a bit closer to they're not closer enough together maybe we'll have to work on player instructions if we, this is something we go for next season what a goal in the context of their season what a piss take in the context of ours right we've got a highlight straight from kickoff so I'm going to stay with it because it could be I was going to say it could mean good good things good fortune or oh, it may well still do Lodi forward now can we work something can we create an opening that's the big question no one's really penetrating their middle um, but Loscherino's giving it a go now. Here we go, Belfoldi. Oh, I, I, I literally don't have to say his name. I'm going to have to sell him just and buy players I can pronounce the names of. Series easy. Can't wait to have him next year. All right, we're coming forward again, but it's just been... This, this is a very 
I think the, the, the phrase is elongated. It's been a very long highlight of just missed place passes. And now, as I, as I come back to the FT, and then that's going to be the final product, isn't it? Oh, for goodness sake. FM, please. Now I've got 40 seconds to sit through, which isn't going to result in a goal for me. Just going to watch them keep the ball and waste a bit of time. It's going to be great. I was be boutique. Cl their keepers are way up, any? They're they're two. They're three. What two up? Oh, that would have been a moment. I, I would love to see what my face did then, because it was just shock. I could feel the shock on my face. Corner kick. But that's pretty much time. In a game that we've we've bossed really, so it's difficult to pinpoint why we've not won this. It's a shame. It's a big shame because we were obviously winning it. But I mean, right? I'm gonna. This is the time. Get aggressive. You were not good enough. Oh, they love it. Oh god, that felt quite good as well. I'm getting power hungry. So then, the final game of the episode and the final game of the series. Well, the series the season. Um, we're carrying on. Got a new contract. Let's not forget. Uh, I said we were playing Roma. Completely wrong. Inter. Uh, so I've changed the system around again. We're going to play uh, Jocurera just off Belfort deal. Uh, Lodi and Galopa in the middle. Varela attacking. Rodriguez attacking. Bringing in a ball midfielder uh, at the back with uh, with two uh, just defensive defenders. Defensive defenders. That's why we're struck. I was thinking, what word do I need to say? Defensive. But I'm going to say defenders. Say them both. Um, defensive defenders. And then a cover defender in the middle uh, to, to seal it off. We're going to lose so many players that are on loan. <laughs> it's scary. Oh, do we play Freddy Montero in the final game? Do we try and get Freddy a goal? Come on, Freddy. Are you good at false? Not well. well. Let's find out. Um, just changed it around a little bit. Going a little bit more attacking out wide. Playing someone off the front man rather than behind the front man. I'm just intrigued. Inter aren't, aren't the best team in this division by any means. Uh, Juventus have won the league again, I think. Yeah, easily. Uh, as you can see there, Inter struggling in ninth. So, hmm. Interesting. And then their team. Again, I'm looking at their team. Not We said it about Milan uh, earlier in the series, actually. It is a shadow of former Milan teams, the current sides. It's just... It's sad, really. Very sad. Right then, we're moving on. Uh, we can finish probably 14th if we win the game. Uh, we can't drop down. So we are 15th or 14th. Let's hope for 14th. It's a better number. It's not actually 15. It's one of my favourite numbers. So, lied. Ah, set piece. Oh, I hate team. I cannot stand teams that can't do, like, normal goals. Just set piece after set piece after set piece. Boring. Right, we have the ball at our feet. I'm going to... We had the ball at our feet. Uh, that's gone now. And now we're going to have to be very wary of how they attack. See, now Rodriguez, is he going to just give up on that? Well, no, he just didn't make the tackle because he's not defensively minded. So maybe we, if we're going to play wider in the future, I'm kind of doing some... So that's a good goal. Um, I like goals like that. Uh, crossed in, headed. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to have to do some cross analysis of whether that's the sort of thing we need to focus on next year. More, more defensive wingers. Maybe not wingers at all. It's tricky. I want to. I want to play a diamond somewhere, whether it's in the front of the back four, or if it's in the middle, or if it's further up the pitch. I want to keep. I like having four players in some sort of diamond formation. Uh, that's something we're gonna have to work on. This game, though, I don't want to say it's gone, but I think it's gone. Right, we're playing attacking wingers, so let's play attacking. Let's. I should have bollocked them. <gasps> right, let me get angry. Uh, this is a bit like, right. You need to calm down. Oh shit. Um. I'm disappointed. Oh, that's what I should have done. They're right. I'm disappointed. Oh, well, the defence. They're not happy. Come on, Ben. Read the comments. Learn from it. Don't disenfranchise your entire back line. Inter are coming forward again. And they're, they're pre like, I was slagging them off pre-game. Saying, oh, they're not, not like the Inter of old. Where's Samueletto? Where's Ibrahimovic? Shaqiri's still pretty good. Bought him recently, didn't they? Uh, his 10th goal of the season. 3-0 Inter. Who will finish 9th and will finish 15th. The gap is what? Not that much, really. 20 points. Next year, we will finish above Inter. Quote me. At the end of next year. Another free kick for them. Oh, dear. This, this could get embarrassing. It's not been a great second half of the season. It's been Alan Pardew slash John Carver-esque. The way we've, we've finished this season. Pardew last year. Carver this year. We've just been... And I'm going to use a very strong word. Piss poor. That's right, poor. The Freddie, the Freddie Montero experiment, by the way, that's over. He's not playing for this club ever again. Uh, it, through few, like recent FMs, I've always wanted to sign him when I was playing in England, right? Never got a work permit. Glad he didn't get a work permit because he's shit. And he's injured. Just go home. 
So then, that brings us to the end of the first season. It's not been spectacular. It's been survival. And just think, if we'd have gained that extra point that we lost at the start of the season, we'd have hit the magic 40, which would have meant absolutely nothing. But fear not. Next year, there is going to be there is going to be radical change in the summer. I want, I want to make sure we got this episode up uh, on the Friday because I can spend the entire weekend now working on this team, cutting it down. We're going to have no loan players. I'm calling it now. There won't be a single loan player, right? I've said this twice in one episode. Quote me. Um, so yeah, well, plenty of work to do. Our first team squad is going to look dramatically different. Oh, wow, we've got so much work to do, but it's quite exciting. So Monday's episode will be, it'll just be what we've done, and you'll see it all unfold. Uh, so, from me, Dr. Benji, thank you very much for watching, and uh, until next time, if you've enjoyed the episode, please leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, and we love with care. Goodbye.